welcome to Boldface this moment's serialization of the Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing. Today, our lens will zoom into the work sector as we dissect its activities and achievements under the leadership of His Excellency Babatunde Raji Fashola SAN, right here on both faces. If you want to build a house, there are many types of houses, but the house that President Buhari has in mind is a house that will protect all Nigerians, a house of prosperity that will withstand the vicissitudes of economic ups and downs. On the 10th day of November 2015, President Mohamed Oboe announced the measure of the Federal Ministry of Power, Works and Housing and the Honorable Minister of Power, Works and Housing, Mr. Babatunde Raji Fashola SAN, set out the agenda for delivering change in the public works relating to roads and bridges. There's a lot going on on the road network. Uh, we are constructing roads in every state of this country, and I say that matter-of-factly. The ministry has constructed multiple roads and bridges in the process recovered thousands of jobs that were lost during the past administration. Uh, we actually have 365 roads under road contracts and 244 of them we inherited. They were awarded between 2001 and they were not completed when we came in in 2015. When we came on board in 2015, the president was very, very clear that all ongoing projects must be completed. But only 20 billion naira was uh, allocated in 2015. But in 2016, the government of uh, President Mohamed Buhari allocated over 200 and something billion. The monies that were given to start these projects belong to Nigerians and you have to continue to deliver on the infrastructure. Today, there is no state across the country where the federal government is not executing at least one road project and construction workers are engaged on these sites. Every Nigeria will attest to the fact that the road infrastructure has developed highly within the last three years. As I talk to you, there is no state in the entire country that we are not working and we are fixing roads. Sections of the Ilori Jeba, Sokoto to Jega, Sokoto Ilela has been completed. Attached to every road project, there are collateral benefits. Whenever there is infrastructural development, when money flows in to build structures, it has a direct impact on employment of people. So you need to go to any of our sites on the last day of the month to see their economic activities. Um, I think going forward, it's a, a real positive uh, effort by the federal government. Why Works is progressing nationwide from Jada to Mayobewa, Enugu to Port Harcourt, Lagos to Ota, Ikorudu to Chagamu, Benito to Okene, Lokoja to Abuja, Kanu to Meduguri, Abuja to Kaduna, Kanu and many others nationwide. So the argument that we are slow, for example, is not meritorious, our results are quicker over a shorter time and we have done more with less. We have the manpower, we have the will, we have the skill sets, we know what we want to deploy. We are employing people, and those are the people who you have to persuade that you want to change them with a team that did not pay them for five years. It's going to be a hard sell. It's going to be a hard economic sell. So go and tell the farmers who are benefiting from that that you won't vote for Buhari. You will see what they will do with their own PVC. Go and tell the miners who are supplying aggregates, sand, rocks for construction company that you will vote for Buhari because their economic life is being affected positively by his spending in infrastructure. So they are voting for their own economic interests and that's what democracy is about. 
which government serves your interest better? Go ask the construction companies. They will tell you which government is going to serve their interest better. Their workers know that their pay has become more regular because we are paying. And we are paying regularly with less money. So go and tell those students in the universities whether they want the solar projects. And go and tell the market women, whether our market men and women in Ari Aria, in Abia, in Bagi, in Sura, whether they want the electricity. Those are the reasons. Go and ask them, not me. So essentially, let me sum it up. You can't build a house without a solid foundation. But the house that President Buhari has in mind is a house that will protect all Nigerians. A house of prosperity that will withstand the vicissitudes of economic ups and downs.